We're kind of living in the past, the two of us. So we're like talking about how, you know, how it used to be when we play the Steelers. So Nancy has a question, and this one is for Joe, Bob, and Bernie. Just wondering if you guys could share some of your most memorable moments when you played with the Browns during Steeler Week. <laughs> Here we go. Well, we want to hear question. it. I was Come on, ask guys. That, but yeah. to it. Let me start that one off. Um, <sighs> growing up in Youngstown, Ohio, northeastern Ohio, and having that Three Rivers jinx. As a kid, as I uh, talked about earlier, um, I never saw the Browns win in Three Rivers. Now it's Heinz Field. Uh, part of my key to the game is bring back the rivalry. My, one of my greatest, proudest moments as a Brown was breaking that Three Rivers jinx in 1986 and spanking them. One, on the one of my best moments in 1986 also, the last game of the season against the Steelers, uh, Mike Webster was holding me. I tried to, to take down Ernest uh, Jackson with my arm, uh, swinging it in, and he broke my forearm. Uh, so I, they had to take him in the locker room, and they put an air cast on. And as I'm walking off, I got a chance because my arm was in an air cast. I got to flip off the crowd. <laughs> nice. I think, and I didn't have to apologize. No fines. <laughs> no fines. I think uh, we didn't for do me. Did that back then? Can I talk? Yes. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I think for me, uh, actually in 06, <laughs> I think coming out of the tunnel my first time, the reason I came home was to play for the Browns. Coming out of the tunnel for the first time to play the Steelers and actually running out toward the dog pound was the reason I came home. Everybody was geeked up and I was too.